How's it going guys? Hebski here. Today we are doing a Pokemon challenge run to see if we can become the Johto League champion with just a single Slowpoke. The rules for this challenge are simple. First, Slowpoke is the only Pokemon we can use in battle, as well as no items will be allowed in battle. And lastly, other Pokemon will only be used for HMs to get around the map. All the clips for this video are straight from my Twitch channel, so if you'd like to see more and be a part of the process of a video like this, make sure to check out twitch.tv slash Hebski, link in the description. So level 7 Pidgey, we get lucky with the first miss on his end. We still can't two shot it, but as long as we don't miss we get the three shot. And finally on the Pidgeotto level 9, the damage it's doing isn't as much as before, so as long as he doesn't crit, I think we should be fine. So we just need one more, as long as he doesn't crit this Gust, and he doesn't. We get our first gym badge with just a slow poke. The Metapod is no problem. It might get a tackle in, but that's the most. String Shot doesn't bother us because we're already the slowest. So we take out the Metapod, no problem. So Scyther, we need to get a confusion here or him to miss. So we get the confusion and we hit a huge chunk of damage there. So if he can just hurt himself, I think that seals the Scyther. Tons of XP too. And his last Pokemon's a Kakuna, which is no problem. So that confusion ended up being like the game changer for this gym leader. Giving us the opportunity to actually do enough damage without the multiplier for um, multiplier for the Fury Cutter to stack up on us. Or it's only two Pokemon, so Miltank yeah is our last one. Clefairy I don't see being a problem really. Growth is fine. Mimic is fine too. So we beat the Cliff Fairy without taking any damage. And then it comes down to the Miltank. Level 20. I think the play here is just use Confusion. Hope it gets confused. Because it's going to use Rollout. But I don't think Rollout will do enough damage. Even though it stacks. It's going to miss before it really... Gets rolling, I guess. That was close. So you really needed to miss. I did not think the jump of damage was going to be that big. So we need a miss here. We get the miss. That's huge. And we beat Whitney. So I think we can get it this time. As long as he misses Hypnosis and doesn't crit a Shadow Ball. The Ghastly actually doesn't go for Lick, or doesn't go for Curse, he goes for Lick. So that just saved us from a ton of damage. We'll take that Nightshade. One shot the Haunter, so even if Gengar goes for Hypnosis, misses, we're not taking that damage. So he misses. We're pretty set up. He goes for Hypnosis again and misses, so that should two-shot the Gengar. Get to level 35 and the Haunter should be no problem because he'll just Nightshade. So we get a bit lucky there with 
double hypnosis miss and uh, no curse. But after losing the last one because of a crit, we'll take that. So here we are with the going for our fifth badge. Going up against the fighting gym, which should not be a problem for our half psychic slow poke. And he actually only has two Pokemon. Which we've already fought a primate and it hasn't been able to do much. Especially if he misses moves like that. And we get the crit and one shot it. And his last Pokemon's a Polyrite. Which I think we just use Confused. Because wa water and fighting moves won't do anything to us. I'll actually try Strength. See if we can two shot him. But this is looking like he'll be the first gym leader we were able to beat on our first attempt. So strength and confusion did probably about the same. And even if he gets a crit here, we should be fine. And we actually beat the fifth gym on our first attempt with Slowpoke, which is the first gym leader we've been able to do that to, which is huge. So she has three Pokemon. She has a Magnemite, level 30, which could be a problem if it outspeeds us and gets a big electric move, but Mud Slap should be good. So he almost one shot it. He misses the Thunder Wave, which is huge because we're actually faster than it right now. Second Magnemite, just gonna Mud Slap it. It actually does fall, but it hits the Thunder Wave, which could be a problem. They miss the Supersonic and we get the Magnemite down. So it's just a Steelix left. So I'll try Surf. Which probably won't do that much now because it's sunny day. So we can try Strength. We keep getting full Para. We could try Mud Slop to drop its accuracy for when we do miss. It said that was super effective and it did nothing. So we'll do it a couple more times just to get the accuracy drops. Because now he's missing Iron Tail. Sunlight faded. We'll try a Surf now. The Iron Tail's dropping my defense, which could be a problem if he doesn't miss any. And Surf is actually enough to one-shot it, or take it down from where it was. And back-to-back -back gyms, we get done in first attempts, which is huge. So first attempt, I think we can get this on our first attempt. We're high enough level, and they got nothing super effective against us. So I think we should be fine. So he starts off with a seal, 27. So I think probably just strength. We get the crit. Not sure how much that mattered. So we should be fine now because we got the crit. We only need two more hits. Hopefully he doesn't wake up on turn two. He doesn't. We finally get the Dugon down. And his last Pokemon is... Pilos line, which I think is park ground, so we might be able to just surf this. And we one shot with the surf, so that three gyms in a row we beat on our first attempt. This is the battle. Dragonair number one. Misses the Thunder Wave. We get that strength off for free. So close. If we get that one shot, that's game changing. Dragon Breath. We don't get paralyzed, so we're making it to the second Dragonair with ideal health. No paralyze. Dragonair 2 misses the second Thunder Wave. This is the run. Boys, this is the run. We get the one shot. 
Dragon Breath, that's okay. Doesn't even paralyze us. It can even go for a Thunderbolt if it wants to. But it won't, because we one-shot it. We are at the Kingdra. With basically full health. Smoke screen's a problem though. If we start missing, get it down about half. It's gonna heal. Um I don't know. I'll just keep going strength. It's what's been working. We could have tried psychic for the special defense drop, but I think we can just two shot it with strength here. What did I say? This was the run. We finally have all eight gym badges and just one slow poke. So the first trainer is psychic. So they shouldn't be super effective against us. Because we are half psychic, so. We'll see how much their psychics do. It will lower our special defense with it. Not sure how much chance, but that could be a problem if that stacks up. So we should two shot him here. The problem is not being able to one shot them because they are higher level. But we take him out in two. Executor, he does have that psychic, so I don't think our psychic will do much. So we're just going to use strength leech seed luckily leech, leech seed doesn't do anything to turn it's used apparently because then we might not have been able to two shot them there so confuse rate is annoying here because we have to take these guys out as quick as possible the problem with leech seed though it does Stay until I switch out, which I can't. And I can't one shot anybody. But that takes him out. So close to leveling up. That would have been nice. So they send out a Jinx. Um, I want to think Earthquake should do enough. If we can hit it. We hit it. And we get the one shot on the Jinx, we grow a level, and we're down to the last Pokemon of the first Elite Four, which is a slow bro, which isn't really good for us, because it should just be a tankier version of us. But we have the Leech Seed, we have the Confusion, so it kind of just needs to hit something. Its special defense went up, which is okay. As long as he doesn't hit us, it keeps on boosting his special defense, so we'll take that. And we get it down, and we actually beat the first Elite Four member on our first attempt. Which I'm guessing is the Poison Elite Four member, which is good for us, because Psychic should be super effective. So he sends on Ariados, so we'll see how much Psychic does. We actually outspeed Ariados. And we are able to one-shot him. So this might be a good battle for us. If Psychic is able to do the damage it's doing. So Fortress is a bit of a block for that, but I think Surf should be able to take it out. So we get pretty lucky there that it used Spikes and not Explode or something. So Venomoth. It confuses us, which is annoying, but we battle through it, get our Psychic off, and we get the one shot, so, so far we haven't even been hit once. The Crobat can be annoying because it can confuse us, even if we break out of this, and it'll most likely go for Bite as its damage move, which, if we don't one shot, it could be a problem with Flinches. We get the Psychic one shot, and we're down to his last Pokemon, which is a Muck. 
we outspeed him, we go for Psychic. We get so close to the one shot, but it goes for a Minimize. It's actually f pretty funny how the little sprite stays minimized. It doesn't just do the animation. But we take him out and we're halfway done the Elite Four on our first attempt. So we'll see attempt number one for the third member. Sends on a hip on top. He uses Dig, which is a problem. Just because it's guaranteed damage if it's faster than us. But it doesn't do a lot. And Psychic is able to one-shot him. So back-to-back -back, um, Elite Four members being super effective against or being super weak against Psychic has really been able to help us get through this. Um, they do have Thunder Punch, which surprisingly did not do an, a lot. Their Onyx goes for Earthquake. We are tanking this one. We are pretty physical bulky, which I think is the problem when we face electric Pokemon that use like Thunder, Thunderbolt is that special defense and it's super effective but when a physical fighter is using uh, thunder punch it isn't really a threat we almost one shot them at champ which would have been pretty crazy he uses a max potion so get a free turn even earthquake does a good amount Rock Slide can become a problem if we keep getting flinched by it and or crits. Um, but we take the Machamp down and I think he's on to his last Pokemon with the Hitmonlee. Uses Double Kick. Gets us pretty low but it's not strong enough. And we take him out in one Psychic. And we beat the third member. First three on the first attempt. Hopefully we can beat this. And let's jump into the fourth member of the Elite Four. So she starts out with the Umbreon. Which caused a lot of problem last time. Because of the sand attack. And we had a pretty big miss so it goes for the classic sand attack and fuse ray just making this fight as difficult as it can be for us and we actually can't two shot it which does suck that it is that tanky as long as once again we fight through that confusion so we're getting kind of lucky right now and we level up which even though it's just a little boost, it every level helps in this battle. So Murkrow goes for a faint attack. It does a lot of damage, but I do think we one-shot him right here. Which, the damage kind of sucks, but at least it's only one turn. We get the Psychic on the Vile Plume, one-shot him. Which brings out the Gengar, which should go for Curse. He goes for Lick though, doesn't paralyze us, which is, I guess, ideal for us. Because we can one-shot him with Psychic. So it's just down to the last Pokemon, which is a Houndoom. So the problem here is if it goes for Bite and flinches us, that could lose us the battle. Um, so we gotta hope he doesn't do that and hope we hit surf he goes for crunch we survive on one hp it all comes down to if we can one shot him with surf that is unreal we one shot him with surf and we beat the fourth member of the lead four with one health left the last uh three times we battled him we've been unlucky with getting paralyzed 
and missing tons of moves or missing moves at wrong times. I think this run we don't get paralyzed. We will win this nice and easy. So like the first couple times Gyarados is no problem to us. Um, we actually outspeed him now which is nice um, because we take one less hit even though he doesn't do a lot of damage. The problem starts with this Dragonite because he either uses Thunder Wave and paralyzes us or uses Thunder and gets to paralyze. He went for Thunder Wave and he missed which I think is the game changer for this. I think this battle is locked and secured for us to win now. So the second Dragonite comes out, goes for a Hyper Beam, does not do any damage at all, which is an easy Icy Winds to take him out. We've had some problems with this Dragonite because he is a higher level. He goes for an Outrage, which still does a decent amount of damage, but Icy Wind gets the one shot on him finally. So those extra couple levels really made a difference. Sends out Aerodactyl, which will Hyper Beam take us down to yellow, but will be a one shot Surf. And then it all comes down to his final Pokemon, his Charizard. His Charizard goes for a Hyper Beam, does even less than the Aerodactyls did, and I believe Surf takes him out in one shot, and we finally beat Lance. I think that was our fifth attempt on him, which actually isn't that crazy, but we are finally the Pokemon League champions. 